Jamal Lascelles, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello Newcastle fans TV, I am struggling to keep up this week, like it's another transfer for you, uh, this one it's not not as a big name as uh, you would think, uh, Gail Big Romana, or Biggie as he's called all of his teammates, has permanently left the club, which is uh, I'm pleased about uh, that it's a permanent deal, not another loan deal from the club, because I was getting a bit sick of all the loan deals that were happening this week. Um, so we'll talk about Biggie in a minute, uh, Newcastle briefly again put another statement out on their website very brief it said newcastle midfielder gil big romana has rejoined league one side Coventry on a permanent deal the 22 year old burundi international originally moved to the magpies from the sky blues in july 2012 and also had a loan spell back at the Rioja arena last season big romana made 25 appearances for united in all competitions during his four years on tyneside but hasn't featured for the first team since the league cup tie in morecambe august 2013 Everyone at Newcastle wishes Gail all the best for his future at Coventry. So, very brief from Newcastle. Uh, we know that Big Romana is very religious. He's a very religious type of guy. Um, he's uh, tweeted today and it said, The past is a testimony. Uh, now and the future is my present and a gift from Heavenly Father, faithful one. So, he's a very religious uh, bloke. Um, so, he's moved on. Uh, is it miss no I, I have said a few times on the channel now uh, mentioning big Romana that I feel that his time with Newcastle is kind of up at the minute because I kept saying he's 22 he needs to move on to get first team football I'm happy that he has done that because he'll go on and play league league football on a regular basis for Coventry um, when we signed him for it was about a million pounds won it and the Pardew uh, he played quite a few games in the first season he must have played about 22 23 games in that first season um, and then he scored actually a beautiful goal against West Ham when he cut in on his left from the edge of the box and put a top corner. I was on goal of the month. He didn't win it though, but it was on goal of the month, you know. Um, and I thought, hey, we've got a player on here, a young lad. You know, he was only 19, 18, 19 at the time. And then he just dropped off the face of the earth. He just couldn't get a game. Then I remember um, he, he was loaned out to uh, Rangers and he had this, he didn't play a game at all. It was Rangers. I remember when everyone went to Rangers, like Zavukic and Babu. And he was another one as well. And you caught this mystery mystery illness or mystery bug or whatever it was. And there was staff rumours going around, stupid rumours going around. I'm not going to mention them on the video. but um, Aye, so he's, mo he's moved on. Uh, but it's, I thought I'd just quickly bring you that news. And um, I hope you like the new look as well that I've got on the banners and everything. But I'm going to leave you with that. It's match day tomorrow. I'll be doing fan cams about 15 minutes after the game. So keep an eye out for that as well. And uh, I'll get them out probably Sunday evening tea time, the, the fan cams bid, and I'll get the review out tomorrow night. Right, thanks for watching. See you later.